Ahead of February 18th general elections, everyone hopes it will be a free and fair election. The Electoral Commission has introduced the biometric voter verification system that it says will guarantee the integrity of the vote. The system that was launched last month is to improve the management and conduct of elections in Uganda through the verification of voters' identity. The system uses fingerprints to match the details of voters. This will help election officers confirm that the voter who shows up at the polling station is the one whose name appears on the voters' register. Director Technical Support Services at the Electoral Commission Pontius Namogera says the commission will issue voter location slips a few days to polling day. The voter will have to present the slip as they come to cast their ballot. The verifier then is the slip because the physical slip is also going to be there. When you are satisfied that the information is correct, you go to the next step. The next step is verifying that this person is who he claims to be by putting your fingerprint. Polling officials will then scan the voter location slip with the machine that will then bring out the details of the person and their preferred polling station. Information on this device covering the entire district, but it will not allow you to cast to, to be verified at your particular polling station. Where you registered. The Electoral Commission has procured 32,334 machines to be used in the 28,010 polling stations across Uganda in the upcoming general elections. But there are questions on whether the Commission has sufficiently trained officials to efficiently use the new machines. The Electoral Commission says a number of personnel have been trained to handle the equipment and there will be a trial demonstration on 30th January. Right now, we finished the uh, training at national level where we trained 300 personnel. Okay. Now we have rolled out the 300 personnel to the region and that training ended yesterday and we have trained 1,500 uh, staff. Namgera gave assurance that the system has been tested, that contingency measures like backups have been designed in case the machine fails. In the 2013 general elections in Kenya, the biometric voter system collapsed in the middle of the election and the Electoral Commission was forced to resort to manual systems. This later emerged as a major issue in the petition challenging the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Some members of the Uganda opposition have also questioned the veracity of the system, saying it's not foolproof. The Electoral Commission spokesman is confident that the system will work to expectation even when it has presented challenges in a couple of countries. Uh, we are very confident that uh, this biometric voter verification equipment will work through during the voting process. More research all in TV.